Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we had another crazy video as usual And today guys, we had a bunch of crazy drama go down in the community We had train hard esports one of the biggest orgs in the entire fortnite community shutting down completely And what's crazy about that guys is they had some of the best fortnite players ever on their team and signed to long contracts I'm talking players along the lines of matzo Amplify and even Saf and we actually talked about Saf's duo Zay in the previous video because he decided to protest during the FNCS all-star grand finals because Aussie antics got banned for calling someone a loser and that was just a crazy situation so if you haven't seen that video be sure to go watch that one but anyways guys moving on to today's video we're also going to be taking a look at Vino who got second place in the solo FNCS all-star finals of the European region and some allegations that were thrown against him of him potentially getting outside information while he was in a call and playing the grand finals and i will be breaking down that entire situation just a little bit later in the video and we're also going to be taking a look at this screenshot that's been floating around reddit sort of and getting a lot of traction and the people on reddit are saying that some of the top performers in the fncs all-star grand finals we're talking top one to ten might have been actually breaking some rules and more specifically colluding and we're going to be taking a look at that a little bit later in the video and if you guys want a chance to win v books from this video go down below drop a like on it subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications and then leave a comment with your twitter your instagram or your discord tag and i'll choose the winner in the next video but anyways guys let's go ahead and hop into the first topic of the video which is going to be about train hard esports completely shutting down and it all really started whenever train hard esports went on twitter and tweeted this photo with the caption the end train hard officially closes its doors and the statement attached to that original tweet said it's painful but we have to announce that train hard is closing its doors today after many years in esports and unforgettable moments it's time for us to let go mostly because of economical reasons. Before we leave, we would like to thank everyone that helped us build Train Hard Esports with their own skills, staff, players, and you, our true fans. Thank you for everything and good luck in this world, which is beautiful and rough at the same time. And that is just such a sad statement to read because anybody who owns or runs an esports organization such as Train Hard in this example has put so much of their own time. They're, they're just investing so much into this organization. And it's just truly sad that this is the reason they had to close was due to economical issues. And it's just a truly unfortunate situation because it's not like the owner just wanted to close the team and shut it down for good out of nowhere. It was just their only option and decision that they just had to make or it would have gone worse. And and shortly after this announcement, some of their pro players actually started quoting this tweet with their reactions to it. Take a look. We had Saf quoting the tweet and saying, free agent again with the sad face. And you can just tell that overall, a lot of their players are upset that this just ha it had to come to this end. And then he tweeted next saying, regarding the recent news, I'm now an unrestricted free agent looking for opportunities. Sad to hear about Train Hard Esports closing their doors. Super grateful for my time there and the friends I made. And then his next post was a proper free agent post with his social media follow following and then he said at the bottom for business inquires dm me on twitter or discord over 1 million made from fortnite and not stopping anytime soon and then he linked his fortnite esports tracker and this is where it gets really interesting to me guys what do you guys think that saf is gonna do for his next steps and i say that because saf is undoubtedly one of the best and most consistent players in this game altogether and he also has over a million dollars earned on fortnite and it's not like all of his earnings are just from world cup sure he did great in world cup but he's also gone as far as winning an fncs in over the span of his entire competitive career, he's also grown quite a large following as we saw in the free agent post, which is a big factor that a lot of orgs will look out before signing a player, which is why I think that Saf will not have trouble finding another team, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him signed to a team within the next month or so. But I want to know what team you guys could see Saf joining. Go down to the comment section down below and leave a comment as to which team you think it is and why you can see him joining it. And moving on to his teammates, we had Matzo quoting with the sad face, and again, just the same energy coming from for Matzo that was matched by Saf. It's just truly a very sad situation and Amplify doing the exact same thing. Just a lot of these players are very disappointed and upset, but of course, if the org had any other way to go about this, they probably wouldn't have dropped them, but they just had to do it and it's truly sad. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be all we know on the Train Hard Esports situation, but let's go ahead and talk about the Destiny Jesus coaching screenshot that got leaked and is picking up traction all over Reddit. And it all started whenever this was posted to the Reddit with the title, Hen, Joe, Kinzel, Queasy, and Taysom were all on a call during FNCS All-Stars, screenshot from Destiny Jesus' coaching video. And in the screenshot provided, you can see that they're all on a Discord called Coaching Court 2.0, which if I had to assume, it was hosted by Destiny Jesus. And in the general voice chat, you can see Hen, Joe, Kinzel, Queasy, and Taysom, and only two of them are actually deafened in there, so we don't know what the other three could be talking about, and we also 
don't know if they're dead or if they're alive. But this was the main screenshot that started with all these comments like this one saying, Remember when Janice and Tayson split dropped Steamy and were accused of teaming but everyone denied it? There's a bunch of collusion in the top lobbies and there's little Epic can do against it. And then another comment like this one saying, This is sad man, you can 100% bet that when someone dies they are giving information, he's weak, he's white, or things like I'm going to pad. Be interesting to go through the VODs and see if they are boxed up anywhere near each other or focus the same person or etc. Why even put yourself in this situation? Just play on your own, no calls, etc. Because even if nothing did happen, like I said, everyone will think it. And then this guy replying to him saying, you know what's sad? People are saying everybody does this and they're probably right. The majority probably do. And the people that it affects most is the people who aren't being complete butthats and cheating during FNCS. Those guys are getting pooped on because they're playing 5v1 all the time and we wonder how the same names are always at the top. And another comment saying, I can guarantee that the overwhelming majority of players in this finals were not playing by themselves without being in a call for over three hours. This is something that literally everybody does. Just because you're in a call doesn't mean you are cheating, Lamau. Is it collusion to not fight somebody off spawn? What if I get bad loot and just want to leave? How is Epic going to enforce that? This is just ridiculous. No proof they are cheating. No way to enforce it anyways. This is a reach and a half. And then another comment saying, Vino just uploaded the finals video and he's getting coached by Destiny and has everyone in the call. If he was colluding, I doubt he would upload it to YouTube. And guys, we actually do have a clip from Vino's finals video of him getting outside information from someone in the call. Have a look. Thanks. Need this kid to jump down first. Mini when you can, Vinny. Okay, Mance as well. Oh. You good? Look back, look back at zone. Okay. Under Undermass. Mini now if you, you can. Take your mini, bro. Just, just take take him off, bro. Nice, nice, good kill. Good kill. M builds. Under mass. You can yeah. jump in that guy's box. Shot, shot. That's the reason he's full stack, by the way. Under you. Six builds. Into the right. Space, 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 space. Going back, going back. Play on that, play on that, play on that, play up, play up. He knows, you there. And as you guys could hear in the call, you heard the guy calm. That's reason, by the way, he is full stacked. And just giving out some pretty good information. I don't know how he got it, but I do just want to clarify that I am not saying that either of these players or any of the players mentioned in this video are cheaters. I am just simply covering everything that has been brought to light on Reddit and just letting you guys in on the news. So do not go out there attacking these players and sending them hate and saying that they are cheaters when they are not confirmed to be cheaters, guys. Just want to clarify that. But I can see why some people would be suspicious of it just because of those screenshots and the clips that we played. It does seem a little off, but then again, that comment did make sense. A lot of these players who play these long solo events like to be in a call whenever the solo event is going on, just so they don't lose their mind or tilt, or they have a friend that's in the call with them just to keep them in check throughout the entire tournament. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think about all of these situations. Do you guys think that Saf is going to stay free agent for a while, or do you think he's going to get signed fairly quickly? And do do you guys think that the other situation can be counted as collusion or match fixing? Let me know down below. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm out of here. Peace.